Today I'll be talking about EVs and how the Secretary of Treasury, Janet Yellen, said to the Chinese government that China is producing a excessive amount of electric vehicles. And I'll show you that it is not true by showing you these figures. So in China, or the People's Republic of China, there are 319 million vehicles. Out of that 319 million vehicles, 20.4 million vehicles are electric vehicles. And currently, China produces, or last year, China produced 30 million vehicles in 2023. So, and the total production of electric vehicles in China in 2022 was 5.47 million vehicles. And China has a total population of 1,412 million or 1.412 billion people. So, there's 319 million vehicles for a population of 1.4 billion. So the total population of China has 22.6 million vehicles. Only 22.6 million people in China have any kind of vehicle, whether that be a internal combustion automobile or a electric vehicle. So and 1.444% of the population in the People's Republic of China has electric vehicles. So where is the overcapacity? There are million, hundreds of millions of more people in China that could buy electric vehicles, right? So there really doesn't seem to be any um, excess production here from these numbers and for my analysis and also in the United States we'll talk about that so all vehicles or the number of people that own vehicles in the United States is 283.4 million people out of a population of 333 million people so out of that out of the vehicles, total number of vehicles, there are only 2.531 million electric vehicles in the, in the United States, which is not a lot. And there's a lot of reasons why people don't buy EVs. First of all, they're too, they're too expensive. Uh, the average EV in the United States costs about $44,000. Plus, there really isn't a good charging infrastructure for that. So that's why people aren't buying EVs, you know. And the popu and total population of 333 million and last I think this was 2023 the total number of EVs that were produced in the United States was 40 442,000. That's not a lot compared to China producing 5.4 million per year. That is about 12.38 times more that China produces. But still, it's not excess capacity because you have to look at the larger population of the People's Republic of China, right? And the total production of motor vehicles in the U United States in 2023 was 10.6 million. So China produces roughly about three times more motor vehicles than the United States, but they have a much larger population than the United States, right? China has a population which is 4.24 times more than the United States. So there's quite a uh, ways to go for them to motorize a significant amount of the population because only 22.6% of the population have any kind of motor vehicle compared to the United States, which has 85% of the population have 
automobiles, whether that be internal combustion engine or a electric vehicle. So, so the only excess capacity that I see is in the United States where the majority of people already have vehicles, right? I don't see um, people in the United States uh, having any desire to replace their internal combustion engine cars that are working for EVs anytime soon. You know, people are going to use what they have, right? Unless it breaks or something. If it fails uh, the smog test or whatever. And you can't have your car because of that or whatever. But most people are just going to keep their cars, I think. They're not going to... I mean, even if Chinese uh, EVs were were available in the United States, I don't think a lot of people buy EVs, even if there weren't any tariffs. I mean, people who would want cars or who don't drive very long distances might buy one, but but like I said, there's other problems that prevent EVs from being popular here. Like the charging infrastructure simply isn't doesn't exist here in this country. So there is no there's really no uh, excess capacity in China. They they don't have to import any of their EVs. They could produce uh, they could consume every EV and and they consume it in their own country if they wanted to. It's not a problem. 5.47 million is not a lot in a country that has 1.412 billion people. If you really think about it, how long will it take for uh, China to, to replace its IC vehicles, for example? 298.6 million vehicles in China are internal combustion vehicles. At the current rate, that would take 54 years and 7 months at the current rate. So obviously no excess production whatsoever. I guess that's why they're building um, EV factories in Brazil, uh, Mexico, Hungary and other countries as well, they're building EV plants. So, so they could, um, well, I guess they could sell it to other countries and they can also import it back to China if they want. So, so more people would have EVs. So if there was like, if there was no excess productions, then they wouldn't be building factories overseas, right? doesn't make any sense so, so what Janet, Janet Ellen uh, Janet Yellen was saying is is false it's not true according to these numbers if anybody wants to argue with these argue with me about these figures come right ahead on the comment section and say something okay um, I hope you found this helpful and uh, thank you for watching